When working in the educational field, it's important to present yourself as a professional. And one of the things I've noticed, um, some people do not have an email signature. This is a very simple thing to do. Um, and let's go over it real quickly. And I'll also show you, I'll show you on the computer and I'll also show you for the iPad. Um, right now you can see my signature. It goes out on every email. It says my name, my position, where I work. I do my little take two for tech and then schedule time to meet. I probably should add in my email address and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. When you're in your Gmail, you're going to navigate to the gear wheel or the settings and go to settings in there. And you're going to scroll down. And where it says signature, and it says appended at the end of all outgoing messages. So even if you reply, it should still do that on there. Um, you can select a font, the size, if you want to do some special things like even add colors. You can add a link. I have a picture image in there. Um, this is where you're going to do all of that. Now I do want to add my email address. And then I can go ahead and make that a link. And so if people want to click on that, they can email me from there. Just in case they're having trouble based on the email I might have sent them. Um, it's up to you whether to insert the signature before quoted text. I do have that done. And then make sure you scroll to the bottom and you do save changes. For your email signature on your iPad or even your iPhone, what you're going to do is navigate to your settings. And once you're in your settings, on the left, you're going to scroll down until you see Mail. Tap on that. And then on the right, scroll down. At the very bottom, it'll say Signature for under Composing. And I'm tapping on that. Now, I have it selected to add a signature per account because I have four separate accounts on here. You can have it do the same signature on all accounts. Notice each one. Um, is different and then my main one, the exchange one, is the same that I have on my computer. Um, some suggested topics, you should maybe put your name, your credentials possibly, district and or school, maybe a contact number, and email address based on what you feel is appropriate. So hopefully this will save you some time not having to add um, specific ones only on certain emails. As a professional, uh, it is a good idea to have this information on every email. Have a great day.